Hi, my name is Emily Bolin. I am a member of the Sally Crew on the Sally Beauty platform. You may have seen some of my classes on DIY University on the Sally Beauty education channel. So if you haven't checked that out, please do because I literally teach you how to do your hair at home like a hairstylist. So today I want to do something a little bit different. I thought I would bring you into the studio with me and I'm going to record everything I do on my clients so that from a hairstylist point of view, you can see what I'm doing that maybe is different than what you're doing so that you can give yourself a better block color experience at home with healthy results. So let's get started on my client, Sarah. Here is Sarah's beginning canvas. As you can see, we've done block color before. So today I'll be addressing lifting her regrowth. Her regrowth has grown out over an inch. Therefore, if I do an open air painting method with lightener, I run the risk of banding. Therefore, I'm going to go in with a foil technique. That way, by going in small sections and applying lightener inside the foils, I get the highest lift in one shot. It's important to remember that when the hair is wet, it's at its most vulnerable. Therefore, we need to be using products during a color transformation that are going to support the health of the hair. During a lot of these color processes, disulfide bond chains that make up the structure of the hair break down. So today I've chosen to use the Sally Beauty Bond Bar because the Bond Bar system has a unique technology that reforms the hair and fills back in those disulfide bond pockets to restructure the hair and repair it as we're doing our color correction. So after rinsing out the shampoo, I have a clean canvas to apply a toner. It's important to choose a toner that's going to give you the desired effect you're looking for. So today on Sarah's hair, I'm not looking to neutralize all pigment. I just want to get excess warmth out so that the colors read, but they still look bright and bold. Once her toner is processed, I'll go ahead and rinse and shampoo with the Bond Bar number four again. Next step is a huge tip. I'm going to use the Bond Bar number three. Not only is this going to seal in my toner, it's going to relax the pH level so that when I apply my vivids, they'll be applied more evenly and retain color longer. It's also going to improve the health of my hair for better looking vivids. Once I've left the bonding treatment, the number three on for 10 minutes, I'm going to shampoo again with the Bond Bar number four. After shampooing, we're going to immediately towel dry the hair and then apply the Vivid Hair Color right on top of the damp hair. I don't always recommend applying Vivids on top of damp hair, but as a hairstylist, I've played with a lot of different colors and a brand that works really well with this and does save you time is the Good Dye Young Vivid Hair Color. This color line is extremely pigmented and the formulation is very thick. Therefore, when you apply it, it actually goes through wet hair a little bit more easily and you get a little more use out of your product. And I've never run into the issue of it not showing up on the hair just because it's damp. When choosing color placement, I wanted to have the most impact. So on the temple areas of her hair underneath, I made it so if you were looking at her dead on, you'd be able to see the different colors trickled all the way down without moving her hair. I wanted to have that same impact on top, so I changed the directions of where I put my color in because I knew they would read different on top of her head than they did underneath. That way, no matter what angle you're looking at her, you'll always be able to see all the different colors. After letting my Good Dye Young Vivids process, I'm going to rinse with cool water after 30 minutes. Cool water is very important because it relaxes the cuticle of the hair, really retaining in that color. That way you don't get much fallout. Directly on top of the hair, I'm now going to apply the Bond Bar number five to seal in that color. So the Bond Bar number five is gonna stay on for three minutes and then I can rinse again with cool water. After rinsing out the Bond Bar number five conditioner, I'm going to towel dry my client and bring her back to the chair. This is where I'm going to add the Bond Bar number six. When applying the Bond Bar number six, I like to start with a dime sized amount and work my way up from there. Once you get used to the product, you might be comfortable using a little bit more each time. I like to apply the product from mid lengths to ends because that's where we see the most damage. And these are the results. She looks super bold, super fun, and most of all, super healthy. So just as a reminder, I feel like vivid looks don't come together if you don't keep the integrity and the health of your hair spot on. So be sure you're using the right products when you're coloring your hair at home because that's what's really going to complete the look. So just as a recommendation, use the Bond Bar from Sally Beauty because you can see I was able to make it through all these steps and her hair looks awesome. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Be sure to tag us if you try these at home. Again, my name's Emily Bolin. My handle is The Neon Blonde. And be sure to check out more classes on the DIY University platform by Sally Beauty.